Sarah Kay. My name is Tamara. Yes, and my and my mom is Jackie Kamaya. My mom's name is Grace. And my mom's name is Mary Carlota. Rodeli Sherbo. My mother's name is Adele. My mom's name is Jennifer Blue. And my mom is Diosa. Jennifer Blue. My mom's name is Judith. She loves to play Candy Crush. She loves to watch Korean drama. My mom really likes to do cooking, so what? My mom loves to knit and bake. She loves to drink bubble tea and also help around and teach us. My mom likes to cook and watch YouTube. Bake and do piano. And also, uh, sandwiches, too. One thing my mom likes to do a lot is she likes to watch those teleserie dramas, those Filipino dramas on YouTube. Like, she can go all day, like, nonstop, episode after episode, finish the series kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's what she likes. That's what she likes to do. Sweet and Sweet? Oh, clean. Oh, clean up the mess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with the with the broomstick. She told me to clean my room and shower. She often says she loves me and um and keeps reminding me to um do my homework so I don't forget. That she loves me and also I will protect you. And uh, be good. She always says, "Okay, Jean." Mm. I love you, Jean. My mom says a lot. Is tell me why don't you hug me properly? Because I don't hug properly. Like I just when she asks for a hug, I go like, "Okay, okay, hug me." When she gets mad, she looks like this. <laughs> My mom looks like this when she's mad. I think. He makes a scary face like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your mom looks like? Yeah. Oh, wow. I love you, mommy. So thankful for all that you do and what you do for our family. Um, Love you. Thank you for taking care of me and everything. I would like to say to my mom, I love you. I appreciate from what my mom has done for me and sacrificed, and I will always love her forever. I would like to say to my mom that I love you, mom. I will take care of you. That you always protect you wherever you go and be safe. Thank you, mom, for all that you do for us. Love you, mom. I love you, and I will always protect you. One thing I'd like to say to my mom is, Mom, I appreciate you and all the sacrifices that you made for your family here and back home. I love you. Ooh. Sorry, Kay. Sorry, Kay. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mommy, and Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Happy 
Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I love you. incredibly special day for all our moms all over the world celebrating Mother's Day mom if you're watching with your children with your lovely family happy Mother's Day special treat to our beautiful mom today before we start let us have a big shout to our Lord to honor him hallelujah praise you Jesus let us welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit and the presence of God. Even if you are in your home, let us do that to give reverence and honor to Him. Hallelujah! If you are seated beside your mom, even those online, give a big hug and love to your mom. If she's not with you, send her a text message, love you mom. I'm so honored to be in this pulpit. I want to encourage our honorable and beautiful Mother's Day today because we are so special we are so special amen mother let us pray father i thank you for this wonderful day oh god that you have given us even to this wonderful mom i pray that this word will cause change joy and transformation in our being so we can represent reflect you in our lives in jesus name let me share to you the word of god second timothy one to five passion translation from paul an apostle of jesus the messiah appointed by god's pleasure to announce the wonderful promise of life found in jesus the anointed messiah 
My beloved son, I pray for a greater release of God's grace, love, and total well-being to flow in your life from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. You know that I've been called to serve God of my Father with a clean conscience. Night and day, I pray constantly for you, building memorial for you with my prayers. I know that you have wept for me, your spiritual father, and your tears are dear to me. I cannot wait to see you again. I'm filled with joy. As I think of your strong faith that was passed down through your family line, it began with your grandmother, Louis, who passed it on to your mother, Eunice, and it's clear that you too are following in the footstep of their godly example. Hallelujah and amen. We can see in this chapter, Paul is writing a letter to Timothy. Paul addressed Timothy profoundly as beloved son. He honored and loved Timothy. Wow, it's a great example to us of how Timothy was a great and a true son of faith, in, uh, son of Paul in faith. Paul had extremely admired the faith of Timothy. Paul witnessed the strong faith of Timothy, but Paul recognized that the foundation of Timothy's faith and what he become was from his grandmother, Louis, and his mother, Eunice. Wow, a mother can be a powerful influence or source in raising our children. A society needs to recognize that the power that a mother has to influence her children. She can raise them to know Jesus and acknowledge that Jesus, the true source of life, joy and peace. Mom, that's how great of an impact you can make in the lives of your children. In Psalm 139, 13, for you have formed my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. God fashioned together the mother and a child. So when they see your children, oh boy, they see and say, oh, look at Paul, look at Michelle and Christine. They have the same faith like their mom and dad. They reflect and represent you as their parents. That's my priority and my prayers as a mother and grandmother to my grandchildren, to them to see Jesus, to know and to live their life for Jesus, the author, the perfecter, the finisher of their faith in Jesus' name. Amen? As the same token, a mother has the power to influence her children in a wrong way. No fear of the Lord, full of pride, rebellious, arrogant, disrespectful. Many children lost their identity. They identify themselves in the worldly things. That's why they have peer pressure by their friends and schoolmates. Mom, how are you raising your children? We cannot give what we don't have. Mom, what are we passing on to our children? In John 8, 12 says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We cannot pass on this light unless that light is within us. Jesus is calling us to be followers, to be light of the word. The light makes things visible. It illuminates and enables to see things. Jesus is the light of the word. When we have Jesus in our life, we reflect him. We can let our light shine through, this, through, through his word 
that is in us. When your whole being is saturated by the Word of God, ingrained with the laws, order, values, and principle of God, you can bring the light in a dark world. Let me ask you, what kind of light do you have, Mom? Because there is some light that I call the decorative light. They put it up, not really for the brightness, but for the purpose of looking good. They do not illumine, right? It's just a glow. Sometimes it blinks. It gives a little bit of beauty on the wall, but no real function. But it looks good. Mom, is our light only a decorative light? We can look good, but we are not illuminating and make an impact, especially to the lives of our children. We are Christian only entitled, but we are not living as a Christian. Our children are not seeing us read the Bible, not seeing us pray, or our tongue is out of order. Now, that things are now that we are now online it's still still our priority for us is not to, to attend the online ce celebration what is our priority our choices in life what light or influence we are sharing to our children so also we can enroll our children to many online activities i'm not against the activities of the kids that is especially very important. But if that will be a conflict with the spiritual activities of my children to go to the youth, Sunday celebration, Sunday school, I will tell my kids, we will just find another day or reschedule. But I want them to know that I don't want them to miss the church activities. They need to see and hear from us the values of choosing spiritual things than worldly things because it is their Sunday school, youth night, worship celebration that they will be strengthened in their spiritual foundation in their life. The good moral values of knowing and walking with Jesus, they will know what is good and evil they will have good company that will not corrupt them they will know what is right or wrong mom let's examine what light we are influencing our children what are they hearing from us mom are our tongues full of negativity when our children are hearing us judge and criticize people even the church then we are raising children who does not honor and respect the leaders around them, especially in the house of the Lord. We, what we are modeling to our children, we, our actions and our words that's coming out of our tongue. What faith are we modeling and demonstrating, demonstrating to our children? Then there is, if there is a lack, do they see us and hear us trusting the Lord? Or do they see us manipulate and cheat and meet our needs? Our children need to see, to do the right things and stand for righteousness and see how God meets the needs of our family. I'm sharing this to moms because anything you do or say, litter, or big decision in your family, they will follow you because you have the power to influence your children. Let me share to you some of the principle on how light can influence your children. The first, in, the first principle is influence them with the principle and instruction of the Lord. In Ephesians 6.4, it says, Father or mothers, do not provoke your children to, do, to rot. Instead, bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. As a mother, we should not be, be afraid to teach our children right or wrong. Teach them 
that the Bible should be the standard of their moral conduct, their behavior, their character, the principle in their life. The light, the word of God is the truth. As you journey with your children, sometimes the truth of righteousness will offend your children. Even with my spiritual children, as I journey with them, as I pinpoint the blind spot in their lives, as I align them in their walk of God, it will cause offense and tension in the relationship. That's why, mom, your relationship should be strong and solid. Because when you give and cross heavy correction, it will not hurt them. But they will receive it it because they know it comes from a place of love. From the mother's heart. Mom, you need the give, to give the truth of the word of God to your children. In Hebrew 4.12, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It pierces even to the dividing soul and spirit, joint the marrow, it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Walk with them in the truth of the word of God. When you do that, you are shielding your children with an armor against the lies of the devil. Especially in this age of time, our children are so much exposed to many opinions of men in the media teach them what the word of god is also saying amen when your children are in mess mom our tendency is to fix their mess but the best help you can give to them is to tell and show them the truth of the word of god show them the truth why they are in the mess who corrupt you in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, says, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. Young mom, correct your children while they are young, so they will not turn rebellious. The second principle, speak life to your children. In Proverbs 18, 21, it says, Life and death are in the power of tongue, and to those who will love it, will eat its fruit. It means we will eat the fruit of your words. Mom, pay attention to what we are saying about our family, our children, our words, or what we speak or declare to them can influence and affect them. They become what you continually say to them. That's why it's important to get the habit of speaking victory over their lives. Mom, choose the word carefully when speaking to your children as well as what you speak about yourself. Words can cut like as a razor. They have the power of life and death. Negative tongue can cause chaos, confusion, malice, strife, division, pain, depression, hatred, rebellion. But a godly tongue speaks like, I am a child of God. I will not give up. I am a winner. I have a favor with God. I am more than a conqueror. I am strong and I am am blessed hallelujah praise you jesus we can release life or death over our family and special over our children there is a power in the word of god that it, it will draw out of the spirit realm into material realm where you live in romans 4 17 it says as it written i have made you a father of many nations he is our Father in the sight of God in whom He believed. 
God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that we are not. God did it first. God spoke the word as though they were. He talks it now of what he wants to do in the future. As parents, we can already declare by the word of God the future of our children. Young mom, when your kids are still in the crib, talk to, to their future already. Begin to prophesy to them through the word of God and say, your child is a God of God. You're going to love God with all your heart, with all your heart and mind. The goodness and the blessing will follow you all the days of their life. I declared that to my son, Pastor Paul Beringer. While I'm, while I'm feeding him at midnight, I said, Lord, I dedicate my son to you. He will serve you and declare the word of God. I declare the word of God over and over to my children, especially when they are facing some challenges. I declare to them the Psalm 12, that my children will be mighty in the land and even to, my, to the fourth generation, even to all my uh, grandchildren. In our champion kids, every Sunday school, before they start, they will recite the word of affirmation. They will say, I am victorious. I am the head, not the tail. I am the top, not the bottom. I am blessed by God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am smart. I am a champion. Hallelujah. We want to ingrain in their mind, heart, and soul, and spirit that they are a champion. There may be some of you who feel so hopeless about the situation of your children. Mothers, declare Ezekiel 37, 4. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. The word of God has the power to give life even to the situation that is dead. Mom, if your child is in the hopeless situation with sickness, or you have a special kid and have infirmities that breaks your heart, it seems so hopeless, or you have a rebellious child, or addicted child, or a, a, a teenage pregnancy, Mom, I want you to begin to prophesy to this hopeless situation of your child. Declare this word in verse 5. It says, this is what the sovereign Lord says to these dry bones. Enter in and you will, will come to life. Amen. Declare the life of hope to your child. I declare healing of God in, by His tribe. You are healed in Jesus' name. You declare to your special kid, God created you in my, in, in my womb and it is not a, a mistake. Therefore, I declare you will be normal, complete in Jesus' name. For rebellious children, I declare you will come back in the Lord. I raise and train you in the ways of the Lord. The seed of the word of God is planted in your being. I declare that that seed of truth will be alive and that you will come back to your senses in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Don't use words to describe the situation, but choose words to change the situation. For example, this child will never change. You're inviting defeat already. This child cannot do anything so hopeless. Then you are inviting limitation to your child's life. You need to reverse the situation by speaking speaking life if your child is having a depression you declare and invite victory 
this is only temporary say that to your child my child will be good he will be strong he will be healed because he is a child of God mom in your prayers day and night keep declaring the word of God over and over again in the life of your children amen the third principle is stay strong when our family face adversity. In Proverbs 18, 14, a spirit of man will sustain his infirmity, but a broken spirit who can bear. Mom, stay strong when our children face adversity or when we face adversity in the life regarding our family. Your children will make a mistake in their life. They will fail. They will, make, they, they will get disappointed and discouraged in life because they made a bad choice or decision in life. Your children will experience testing in their life because it's part of their journey of life. How we react respond or deal with adversity will impact their values in life if we stay strong spiritually we will make it true amen mom it doesn't it doesn't mean it's easy or there's no pain involved as a mom it's hard for us to see our child in pain the reality is our children are not exempted from pain, trials, troubles, or testing in life. As they go through it, we just need to walk with them in their journey until they reach the victory in their lives. Mom, we need to stay strong in the Lord. In Philippians 4.13 say, We can do all things to Christ who strengthened me. God is our strength. I want to encourage you, mom, still hold the light of the word of God in your home. Bring the light of the truth, the light of peace, and the joy in the Lord. Mom, we can do it by staying strong in the Lord. It's so, if some of you moms are going through a pain because of the issues or in your children, I just, want you, I just want to encourage you, mom, you can make it through right now. You can go strong in the Spirit of God who is your strength and peace. Even in the midst of difficult times, when you don't even know when is these things going to end or when the breakthrough will come for your son and daughter, just completely turn to God. Keep holding on, Mom. Your strength comes from the Lord. You just keep trusting the Lord and holding to every promises of God. In Psalm 46, 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. It means, keep quiet, mom. Relax, chill, because God is in full control of our situation. Some people will be amazed to see that even though you are in a difficult situation, how God sustain you, you are still strong, you can still help and reach out other people. They don't know what you are going through because you have the strength of the Lord. Mom, we should not be a kind of person that when we go through difficulties, we are falling apart. We can be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. Hallelujah and Amen. In Ephesians 6, Paul say that taught us when we face the battle against the enemy, we need to put the whole armor of God. But in verse 10, we should pay attention to be strong in the Lord. Be strong means you need to be in union, oneness, in fellowship with Him. Boundless strength 
will be will we will get mom he is the source of our strength because god is our strength mom the minute we have a problem we don't need to go to your phone but we need to go to the throne of god let me encourage you with the word of god that there is nothing too hard from god there is nothing impossible with god as we believe mom whatever you are going through whatever you are facing you right whatever you are facing right now i'm telling you that you can do it you have got what it takes i said mom you can do it remember god is on your side you are more than a conqueror you are a warrior you have the authority over the enemy you can do whatever you need to do through christ who is your strength amen and hallelujah give glory to god and praise him hallelujah now to our beloved children okay from the depth of our heart as your mom let me tell to you we love you and we will always love you and there's nothing that could stop us from loving you your god's gift to us and we want to make sure we handle you with so much love and care we desire to be the best chef so we can cook to you and serve you the best meal we want to be the best counselor because we want to give you the best advice guidance direction in your life in the ways of the lord we want to best cheer her because we want to rejoice to you and cheer you to every success achievement and accomplishment in your life remember when you're going through hurts and pain and challenges you're not going to face it alone because mom is here for you amen we will be standing praying with you until you have the victory in times we argue and disagree remember that mom wants you the best for you if we made mistakes while we are raising you we're sorry but we want to let you know that we love you forever mom in closing we have a great source we are the great source of influence mom you can influence them by giving the instruction and principle of god by speaking a life to them by staying strong in times of adversity to those mom who are prostrated and weary and discouraged just keep holding the light to the single mom who feels alone just keep holding your light you are not alone jesus is your husband jesus is the father of your children too mother who are far away from the children because of the sacrifices of earning living keep holding the light one day you will be together in jesus name mother has who has a special kids and their children have special need i just want to hold you to keep holding the light to the wives who are desiring to have a child like hannah never lose hope keep holding the light the light of the promises of god in psalm 37 3 to 4 trust in the lord and do good dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture take the light and he will give the desire of your heart while you are waiting for your baby child trust god and do good just keep serving and pleasing god maybe you're maybe you're here right now and you're watching online and you're saying to me oh my god mama e my light is so dim or maybe some of you you mom you're saying i think i do not have the light but i just want to tell and encourage you it's okay it's okay if you are here today online watching i want you to lead in a simple prayer to lead you to the true source of light
Let's pray with, with all your heart. Lord Jesus, I confess that I have sinned. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sin. I believe you rose from the dead that I may have life. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sin. Cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and save you, Savior, and I will follow you all the days of my life. Amen. Amen. If you have said that, I just want to write your name and connect, right, in, in, in the form, connect, that you have received. And our team will, will uh, surely get in touch with you. Amen. So let's pray. And I just want to declare a blessing to all moms right now. Father in heaven, I thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us. Lord, I lift up to you all the moms who are broken right now, oh God, and have a heart aches. I pray that you bless them with peace, joy, oh God, unspeakable joy to them, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will keep oh god us in tune to you lord i pray that our light will shine forevermore oh god i pray for the moms oh god lord who have a hard time oh god crying for their children oh god to come back home oh god oh lord i pray there's nothing impossible with you that you will do this in the name of jesus oh god i speak blessing to all our mothers i even speak blessing to our children lord that you will bless us with all things with love mercy oh god with everything that you want us to bless oh god we pray this in jesus name amen and amen and today i just want to let you know god bless you all remember mother let our light shine to influence and bring great impact into this world amen we are thankful that you have chosen to join us today at champion life center church online we pray that you felt welcome and that your worship experience was one that was engaging, fulfilling, and uplifting. If you have committed your life to Christ today, please send us a note by visiting our website at championlife.ca and select contact. Send your feedback and your prayer requests or call us by phone. And remember, you can give your tithes and your offering to, through our website, text to give, use the Champion Life Center app, or e-transfer your giving. Just make sure to select the location that you are giving to. Thank you so much for your continued support and may the Lord bless you richly. Feel free to share this broadcast with your friends, with your loved ones, and with your family. Also, please hang out with us right now on our Connect Lounge right after service online. And lastly, don't forget to follow us on our social media pages this is the best way to stay updated with everything that's going on here at Champion Life Center community. And of course, we want to stay connected with you. Again, we are so glad that you have joined us and we hope to see you online next Sunday. God bless you.